Hello, good morning, students. Uh, we have started the lesson one. We finished the dialogue translation. Uh, then you are going to see the uh, dialogues, uh, question answer based on the dialogue. Question answer is that for in the lesson uh, is based on the dialogue. We are going to see it uh, here. The, here, this is the question. See in the page number two, based on the two dialogues. Uh, first one, ki a divya, q u i means who est etcher verb who is divya this is in the uh, from the first dialogue they ask this question eh? who is divya divya is see here who is divya divya a la cousin d vivek musa divya is vivek's cousin this is you have to see the dialogue search the dialogues and find the answer about that person Divya is la cousin D Vivek. EST Yatar verb. Next question. Eh? Divya Ethel Francis. Divya is she French? Francis means about asking about the nationality. Yes, yeah, it is in the lesson. The answer is in the lesson. You have to find out uh, that uh, answer. Divya is she, is she French? Yes, we. Oui. Elle Francis. Yes, she is French. Third question, Divya, uh, sorry, Aditya Divya e Kumar, who sunt il? Aditya Divya and Kumar, three persons are there, who, who you accent, interrogative adverb meaning where, meaning of this where, where are they? ILS, you know, pronoun soje, S O N T, ether verb conjugation, third person, plural. Ether verb conjugation third person plural R meaning R. The Aditya, Divya, and Kumar. ET means an and Kumar. Where are they? Where are they conversing in this dialogue? They are in the evening party. So Aditya Il Sunt A Yun Sore. They are at a party. You can write this. They you can write the replace all these names by these pronoun suje. Uh, third person plural they ILS they are S Y N T again a third verb they are in, at a party sorry fourth question ki a kumar I told you who are, what is the meaning of Q U I ki who meaning a ki is what is this na? relative pronoun relative pronoun relative ki ku you will see in the lessons later who is kumar Kumar is Kumar A la ami the enfants di Vivek. Kumar is Vivek's childhood friend. La ami the enfants. In English you can say Vivek's childhood, but here also Vivek's cousin. But in French you have to use the uh, connection uh, connecting word D E to join two nouns. Connecting word D E to join two nouns. Kumar is la ami the enfants the Vivek. So Vivek's childhood friend. Fifth question. Kelly la nationality a di divya. What is the nationality of divya? This is uh, adjective interrogative k q u e l l e meaning which water. Which water we can see the about in detail in the lessons uh, coming lessons. Now meaning which what? What is the nationality of divya? Uh, answer is in the dialogue. Uh, L A Francis. She is French. You have to practice these question answers given in the dialogues. So then only you can face the questions uh, in the exams. There is a question answer part in the exams. Uh, uh, for two marks each question carries three uh, two marks. Uh, six question uh, three questions will be that six marks. Uh. If you practice these questions uh, by reading at an understanding and writing the answer. Uh, then you can write on your on your own easily in the exams. So that practice the question answer part in the lessons. In every lesson there is a part like this. Practice it for your benefit. Now we finish the dialogue and the question answer based on the dialogue. Page number two. Page number three. Communication. Uh, how to communicate with other persons. Uh, greeting someone. Introducing someone, replying to in, in presentation. This, uh, this, uh, this we also in the salutation part. 
greetings that i have this conversation everything is there let us know here i already we explained this bonjour monsieur good morning madam sir miss salut hi come on tell you the if you know, learn the verbs only you'll understand this uh, how are you uh, going well chuba bia how are you to ask anyone about their uh, wellness so you have to ask this chuba bia how you uh, going well going fine how is life like that come so how are you so fine sell you chuba bia goes well all goes well like that in the fourth page introducing someone how to introduce ourselves uh, this we aditya subject then verb hr verb then uh, name like that you have to interrupt taking leave how we take leave from from that place goodbye see you plutard see you later see you soon at uh, at this evening see you in the evening see you saturday evening like that after the grammar part very important we have to memorize these topics we already discussed earlier in the beginners class we have discussed these topics this only is used everywhere in the lessons pronoun suji subject pronouns and the pronoun tonic disjunctive pronouns six pronouns are there subject pronouns so you know what is the subject pronoun uh, we have to use in the sentence to make a uh, to tell about the person about whom uh, about whom a uh, which person is talking that uh, we have to use this pronoun suji j e j apostrophe we are, i already explained that one second i'll explain it three singular and three plural pronouns three singular and three plural, uh, plural pronouns we call this in this order each uh, pronoun we call in this order only first person singular second person singular third person singular like that first person plural second person plural third person j e j apostrophe means i chu singular wo uh, plural or uh, singular also you can use but difference between uh, these two both meaning same you, you only english meaning uh, but you have to use this for same age persons younger persons this one for elder persons who oh, that is the difference eh? to give respect you have to use this otherwise use this one two third person two are there il l masculine feminine e she plural v you them here both same meaning them plural il and l just add one yes to the singular it becomes plural that's all look at here i l s e l l e s this is pronoun suji subject pronouns meanings everything i have given earlier in the previous classes note it down memorize it very important by heart it first thing to learn in french is subject pronouns by heart it j first person to or that j e j apostrophe j becomes j apostrophe in front of the vowels if the following verb starts with a vowel then j e shrinks to j apostrophe who in singular can also use in singular to show the politeness so uh, uh, to be polite you have to use this who rather you have to use this to single person if you are talking to unknown persons uh, or str- stranger uh, or elder persons you have to use this subject who next one pronoun tonic already discussed earlier sub uh, disjunctive pronoun stressed pronouns uh, has again same six pronouns are there for six different persons three singular three plural first person singular second person singular third person singular again first person plural second person plural third person plural meanings are all i given there during the previous class let us recall what it means moi et mo i first person singular me means me toi you lui third person him her lui him e l l e her nu us u s us vu you e u x them them both same meaning the them them but two different pronouns for different genders like here for masculine you have to use this feminine you have to use this like that for masculine you have to use this 
for feminine you have to use this where you have to use this uh, what is the difference between subject and uh, subject pronouns and pronoun tonic uh, disjunctive pronouns uh, pronouns of the suje will start a sentence uh, comes before the verb always but pronoun tonic uh, to highlight about the person to give importance to the person to stress the subject you have to use this pronoun tonic next next topic nouns now you already see known about a noun you have studied in the lower classes noun is a word which used to name persons animals things that's all noun is a word what is the purpose of it it used to name the persons animals things but in french there is two genders two types ilia en français deux genres means I am reading this. I have written the translation here also. You can go through it later. Now I am just reading. You just note it down. Listen. Then I will post the notes. So you can copy it and go through it later. Il y a en français deux genres. In French there is two genres. Two genders. Nouns. What is a, what is a noun? It is a word. In general these words are classified into two types. Masculine, feminine. That is why only... the pronoun suje and pronoun tonic has different forms for different persons that's why see here il l il l plural for singular plural here also for masculine and feminine masculine and feminine different pronouns for different gender why we use it because in french the nouns and nouns and uh, profession everything is classified into two types masculine feminine so that we have to so that we have to know how to make it in french two genders of noun masculine feminine the noun the names of men the names of men and the male animals are masculine gender you know generally the names of men and the male animals name of the male animals or masculine gender example see here h o m m e man gasson boy frer brother per father peer peter name of a person lion uh, cat here then these names are all uh, pointing the male and the male animals men man and the male animals so it is automatically comes under the masculine gender it automatically comes under the masculine gender yeah nouns are classified into two types here this comes under the masculine gender because why because it's uh, pointing the males and the male animals like that the name of the woman the name of woman and female animals or feminine gender that's all like that name of gender uh, name of woman and the female animals animo female or s o n t that is ether verb are feminine gender example look at here from woman feel girl sir sister mer mother patricia patricia name of the girl leon lioness shat female cat okay examples for the feminine gender these are all pointing the woman and the woman uh, female animals woman and the female animals so automatically comes un under the feminine gender feminine gender now the nouns of things the names of things are masculine or feminine now you saw how to uh find the name of the uh, what type of uh, gender the name of mass uh, male or male animals female or female animals now uh, what uh, other names uh, things you will point the things look at here names nouns are used to persons and animals here two things are uh, gone finished persons and animals we have finished here persons means mass uh, male female animals uh, male animals female animals both finished now what is remaining things the name of the things are masculine or feminine 
here you have to know how to identify which noun is masculine which noun is feminine examples are given here just have a look masculine nouns uh, canap means sofa mer wall apartment apartment train train avion aircraft feminine nouns uh, examples chaise chair maison home bicycle bicycle fenêtre window port door examples are given another way to identify the nouns which is masculine which is feminine one way um, i already explained that in the previous lesson in the noun part i explained how to identify the noun i'll recall it this only we saw earlier here we are talking about nouns we talk uh, we saw the male and female uh, male men and female uh, male animals women and female animals but nouns are there how to differentiate identify the nouns in french nouns are classified into two masculine gen feminine uh, how we can identify masculine genin with the help of the endings we can mostly identify which is masculine which is feminine but you can apply this only for 8 90% only remaining few or exception that you have to learn and by um, uh, identify you can follow this for 90% of the nouns but there is some exception uh, where you can't identify with the help of the endings so you have to learn it and identify what is the method to identify the 90% of the nouns most feminine nouns will end with the endings e comma i o n most of the feminine nouns uh, pointing the things or uh, places uh, will uh, with will have the ending say e comma i o n others are masculine and other endings other consonant endings are masculine nouns exception a g e few more is there exception uh, uh, that you have to learn and no well, no need to worry only few are there if you go through it you will get it clearly while well, majority you know the method uh, remaining learn it and can uh, go through it what is the uh, ma major way to identify the nouns with the help of the endings how what is the ending for feminine nouns the endings will be e comma i o n in that method you have to identify the nouns and differentiate how what type of it is clear now see here e accent uh, this is masculine others are not ending with e like that here most of the nouns will end with e but only this is uh, exception uh, maison house uh, like that you have to identify the type of the noun with the help of the endings <coughs> sorry <coughs> one more thing we form the feminine of now certain nouns by adding e mute e to the masculine we form certain feminine of certain nouns by adding adjutant means adding by adding a mute e we call it a mute e to the masculine form example a m i ami means friend masculine male that why you are add uh, preposition is u n here it if, it if you add e to this it becomes a uh, girl a friend but it uh, meant, uh, but it refers to a girl so e preposition is u n e indefinite article u n u n e uh, an ami you an ami un cousin une cousine un cousin une cousine here again add e to the ma masculine noun it becomes feminine cousin male cousine female il est utile d'apprendre le genre du nom français dès le début it is useful to learn to le, learn to learning the gender of the noun french nouns from the beginning very important point you have to know the gender of the nouns way method to differentiate the noun from the beginning it is very useful for all the different types of exercises in every part it is very useful to know the gender of the nouns let us have the uh, see that uh, what i have written notes see what i have written nouns is a word used to name the persons animals or things same what i said i written here seeing that uh, notes what i have said in french there is two genders masculine and feminine example hom h o m m e man garçon boy waiter frère f r e accent 
R E accent grave R E brother per father lion lion shark cat per Peter names of the men and male animals or masculine gender comes automatically comes under the masculine gender few examples whatever is there from the book I copy here and translate it for your uh, understanding the names of women and the female animals of feminine gender example farm f e m m e woman field girl sir s o e u r sister mer mother patricia patricia name leon leon lioness shark female cat type of the nouns next names of the things you have to identify names of the things are masculine or feminine that you have to know the method and, uh, male and male animals masculine female and female animals feminine gender name of the things example masculine so far why well, just now said the meanings so canap mer apatamon tra avion uh, here the meanings are written i am telling the french nouns again feminine nouns uh, here the meanings are given i tell the french nouns chaz maison bicyclet fenetre pot i have written whatever is there in the textbook i wrote the meanings here just make a note of it to for further reference for few nouns we add e to the masculine noun example yun ami a friend boy yun ami an ami yun ami friend girl cousin cousin boy yun cousin girl now we learn the type of the nouns and the pronoun so j pronoun tonic dialogue translation is over how to identify the nouns uh, what is the method to identify the nouns uh, we finish go through this very important noun topic is very important how to identify the noun what is the method to identify the noun is very important